Hello everyone. Today's topic of discussion is aerobic exercise. The discussion is for the second year bachelor of physiotherapy students for Saurashtra University. So now we will be discussing the physiological changes that occur with the training. The physiological changes can be classified into cardiovascular changes, respiratory changes, metabolic changes and other system changes. So first we will see the changes in the cardiovascular system where we will first see changes at rest. So when the person is trained with aerobic exercise, at rest the pulse rate is less as compared to the status bifidus before training. The blood pressure decreases as compared to the status again before training and in a trained person the net blood volume and hemoglobin value is also more as compared to the pre-training status. After training when a trained person performs an exercise, during exercise the pulse rate are relatively much lesser as compared to the pre-training state. So we can say there is a net reduction in the pulse rate during exercise. In a trained person, stroke volume is more as compared to the untrained person and even cardiac output is more. The working muscles in a trained person are able to extract more oxygen during actual exercise. Amount of blood flowing through the muscle is relatively less in a trained person as the muscle is able to extract oxygen at a higher rate. Even the myocardial oxygen consumption is less and is able to work with higher efficiency in a trained person. In the respiratory system, at rest in a trained person the lung volumes are much more better. Even the diffusion capacities are far more better as compared to the pre-training state. In a trained person, when the person is actually exercising, the cases are able to diffuse at a rapid rate as compared to the pre-training state. Even there is more amount of oxygen consumption per the unit of air that is ventilated during respiration. The maximum minute ventilation is increased that is the person is able to uh, take more deeper breaths during breathing and efficiency of the ventilation is far more better. Uh, that means that like person is able to perform more amount of exercise at a same level of breathing rate as compared to the previous level of training. In the metabolic changes at rest, the findings which are seen in the trained individual are hypertrophied muscles, increased capillary density in the muscles which are trained that means that means the muscles are able to get more amount of blood and more amount of oxygen the number and size of mitochondria are more in the trained muscles so they are able to metabolize at a higher rate and produce ATP at a higher rate the myoglobin concentration in the muscle is much more better the trained person that means the myoglobin is able to extract more oxygen and in a trained muscle the glycogen storage capacity is also improved providing the rapid metabolic process and uh, making more glycogen available to the muscle directly 
during exercise the amount of glycogen metabolism is less as compared to the untrained person trained person that means a trained person is able to metabolize fat at a rapid rate and spares the glycogen and that's why the phenomenon is known as glycogen sparing there is increased capacity to mobilize and oxidize fat the amount of blood lactate level at sub maximum intensities of exercise are much more lesser as compared to the untrained person and that's why the person is able to tolerate exercise at in a better way the trained person is less relying on phosphocreatine and atp pc system and even the trained person has a better capability to oxidize the carbohydrates the other favorable changes after training include decrease in the body fat decrease in the cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the blood better ability to adapt to the heat that is increased heat acclimatization metabolization and with exercise training even the bones become stronger the ligaments and tendons they become stronger so there is increase in the breaking strength of bones and ligaments and tendons